Good morning, everybody. It is bright and early, 5 a.m. for me. I am on my way to Utah. And it's time for another thrifting road trip to commence. We have made it to the first stop of the trip, the Desiree Industries in Rexburg, Idaho. It's about three hours from Utah, but I figured I'd stop here first. It is Osborne to Thrift Stomping Grounds. So we have about 15 minutes till the open, then we'll head in. I'll have to look it up, but first find is this Plantronics headset for $4. Plantronics is a good brand. This should be worth it. $6 for a drum set. Oh, that's why it's so heavy. Oh, let's try to get this. That'll be worth it for six bucks for sure. Yeah, these always sell great. A little dusty, obviously. See some snowboard boots. I can get them. They're getting all tangled up. 32 is a good brand, but ooh, the tips are coming off. This would have been worth the six dollars because 32 sells great. These would have been worth like 50 bucks. Over in the women's shoes, we have some ultras. They're 10 bucks, but this is a really good model, the Torin 7. One is missing laces, but I think this will still be worth 10 because it's like a $50 model. We have some Keen sandals for six. It's not bad. It's a basic model, but this model does always sell well. This I should be able to get like 25 for these once I clean them. Because there's a ton of them, obviously. Xeros, XD2240. They only sell for like $30 free shipping, and they're 12 a piece. If they were only a few bucks each, I would buy them all, but for 12 of them, I have to leave them. All right, so I was debating picking this up. It's a wireless door chime. Door chimes can sell for really good money. I sold one by Carlon recently for 45. This one's four bucks and sells for like 20, but there's only three sold and like 30 listed. So bad sell through rate. So I think I'm gonna leave it behind. Plus the packaging has some damage. The Plantronics headset was actually better than I was expecting it to be. It's the PTO E18 model. It's missing the cord, but it's an easy replaceable one, just a common cord. Uh, it sells for like 60 bucks. One even sold as high as 94. So for $4, this is definitely gonna be a pickup. Okay, not a bad stop to get the trip started. I spent $27 on everything, the headphones, the shoes, and the drum set. Uh, drum set is obviously quite dirty, but that is okay. I'll still be able to get like 60, 70 for it maybe. And they're not that hard to ship. They break down pretty easily. Uh, you guys saw both the shoes. And I was in there for a few minutes longer than you guys saw. I uh, actually did run into Tim Osborne to thrift. Talked with him for a little bit. He remembered me, not to brag, you know. Not a big deal. Uh, but, so just to confirm, you know, the rumors for you guys. He won't be going back to making videos, unfortunately. I begged him to. I cried a little bit, got on my knees. He's not going to be doing it, but he's a cool guy. It was good to see him again. And now to get back on the road. All right, guys. So after six very long hours of driving, oh, does it feel good to stretch? Uh, we have made it to the Layton Trio. So for those who don't know, in Layton, Utah, there's a Savers, a Desiree Industries, and a Goodwill literally side by side. So we are going to hit all three and hopefully start off the trip with some good stuff. Right off the bat, I found these two Star Wars figures that are Funko branded. I don't think they're gonna be worth anything, but I always gotta look them up. I put them in the cart for now. Well, if anyone needs any of the Harry Potter movies, make sure to come down to uh, the Leighton Savers. All right, so this store has definitely raised their prices a bit. Things are a bit more expensive than usual. Half to, uh, green tags are half off, and I did find these Ultras. They were $14.99, but green tags, so they're gonna be $7.50, which uh, isn't bad for this. It's a good model, so I'll definitely pick these up. And then there's another pair of Ultras, same price. Older model, not worth as much, but an easy $25. So these are $9.50, and if I, I'll have to double check comps, but these are bed stew. I'm pretty sure this is a really good brand, and especially this style, the Y2K Oxford style. This is probably gonna be worth like 50 bucks. If I remember correctly, I'll have to recomp. Dooney, see if it's real though. Is this, yeah, that's glued on, so this is fake. If that's glued on, it's definitely fake. Are these the Yeezy foam posit things? No, I'm pretty sure those are fake. They feel very cheap and have a lot of wear. If they were Yeezys for 450, that'd definitely be a buy. Not seen a lot besides shoes yet. These are $9, these Rossignol ski boots. They are kids, but kids ski boots sell just as well as adults. They're overall pretty good condition, just a bit dirty. Just double checking them. Yeah, I think these are gonna be worth $9. I could probably get like 40 for them. These only sell for about three bucks each, so passing. 
So I haven't looked up the exact model yet, but the bed stew Oxfords are definitely going to be a pickup. They seem to sell really well between like 50 and that one sold for 20 on auction, but 60, some are up in the hundreds. So I'll definitely be picking up those. Don't pass up on power supplies. Some can sell really well. I just found this Bose one. I am leaving this one because of the price. It's five bucks, but if it was like one or two dollars, I'd pick it up. It sells for like $18 free shipping. And uh, yeah, power cords can go for some serious money. All right, so I only ended up getting the three pairs of shoes at that stop. I put the ski boots back. Uh, I'm just trying to be a little bit more responsible with what I pick up on this trip. Save room for good stuff. Not leave, not pick up stuff that's going to sit for a while. Like the ski boots probably would have sat for, you know, until winter maybe. Um, but I did get three really good pairs of shoes for $26 total spent. And now we're just going to go right next door to the DI. Well, after a very long drive across the street, we are now at DI. Savers is right there. Goodwill is just right over that storage facility. All right, so I did not see anything in the hard goods or outside section, but there's these Skechers for 10 bucks. And this is a pretty good model. Those should sell for 40 to 50. And then some New Balance, they're a little dirty, so I, I'm $6, but these will clean up. And this is a pretty good model, the Fresh Foams. They should sell for like 30. All right, I just checked out. I spent $16 in there, only got the two pairs of shoes. And boy, is this starting to get hot out. It is nowhere near this hot in Montana. It's like almost 100 degrees. But um, yeah, we're heading to Goodwill's literally right here around the corner. So walking into Goodwill and I just remembered that they j literally like two weeks ago just opened up a brand new Goodwill here in uh, Utah. So I got one more store to hit. All right, so these are $15. Uh, it's the New Balance 574 model, which does sell well for like 30 to 45, depending on the model. This one is some cool limited edition one. So I'm gonna have to look them up because 15 is a little high, but they're in such good condition and a model I've never seen. So I'll have to look them up. So I'm not certain what this is. This DOD Bass Base 30, it's $8. One sold for parts or repair for $45. Uh, so even if it doesn't work, I'll make good profit. There's none listed or sold in working condition. It's missing the cord, so I'll probably just sell it untested parts or repair for $45. So here's a nice find. Even though it is $18, that is still going to be worth it. These T uh, swing machines sell great for me. This should sell for about $100 to $120. Ooh, old typewriter. It's pretty rusty though. So this is why you look up everything and anything. This doesn't feel or look valuable, but I decided to look it up. This Radio Shack Easy Home Video Editor, $4. One sold for 80. There's none listed uh, used. One's listed new for 200, so that's a score. All right, so you don't find too many golf clubs at the thrift anymore. This is a Wilson Profile Driver. It's $6, great condition, just a little dirty. This should get me like 40 to 50 bucks on its own. And there's an iron set that I need to look up also by Wilson. I need to see how much they go for because they're $4 each. All right, so the irons I am going to leave, but I am going to get the driver. The irons just don't seem to sell for a ton. And at $4 a piece, doesn't leave much room. Maybe if they were like $2 a piece, I'd get, I'd get them. But that's just a little steep for me. All right, I am going to put back the New Balance 574s. There's one listed for $70, but none sold. And so for 15, I just don't think I want to take a chance on them for that much. If they were 10, I would get them. 15 is just a little too high. So they have a lot of cast iron. Music's a little loud, so I don't know how much of this I'll be able to leave in. Not seeing brand on that one. This one's pretty cool, though. It's like a clock. It's not an actual skillet. It has a hole there. Uh, I'm going to leave it behind, but that is cool. The, most of the cast iron was like world market or lodge and in rough condition so i am going to leave them behind but um yeah there's kids in the aisle so i just turned off the camera all right 36 dollars spent on the four items each item on their own should make me uh my money back so that was overall a pretty good stop now we have about a 30 minute drive until we get to the next door which will be a savers and we'll go from there we have made it to Savers in Midvale, Utah. Had to stop and get a water because, man, is it hot. Uh, but yeah, let's run in here and see what we can find. See a new cart up here. The lady was walking away with the cart, so I asked if I can grab it, and she said yes. I got some black diamond ski boots for only $6 with the boa cable. That's an insane deal. These are like $100 boots right here. All right, next finds this massager. I'm going to have to look it up, but I'm pretty sure this is one of the good ones that sells for like 80 bucks. So I'm going to put it in the cart for now and look it up. So 
the Scentsy branded. It's, oh, it is Scentsy. Is that cracked though? It's got some hairline cracks, I think. I don't know, this might be worth it for six bucks. I think it's might be good. I'll have to look it over more before I buy it. Guys, two huge scores in the kitchen aisle. There's a lot of people, so I didn't film right there. One is gonna be this Johnsonville griddle. It has all the accessories and parts, super clean. Uh, maybe used once, if at all. This is $11, and I should get around 100 to 120, but an even better find is this Kaku uh, pressure cooker. I've never heard of this brand. It's $20, well, half off, because green is half off, so $10. And it looks like I can get upwards of $200 for this. So that is 100% a buy. In the DVD VCR combo unit, it's only five. I'm gonna have to test it in store because most of the time they don't work. But if it works, that's definitely worth five. Over in the kids section, I found this Zoomer dog. These things surprisingly sell crazy. This is only five bucks and should sell for like 50 bucks. I've never sold the dog before, only the cat, but I'm pretty sure the dog's uh, one of the good ones. So this is an awesome find. The most packed shoe cart I've ever seen just came out, so I'm gonna have to run over there and check it as soon as I'm done over here. Uh, $11. This model just doesn't sell enough to, uh, or high enough to be worth $11. i am gonna have to look this up, this Logitech wheel for $7. Yeah, I'm putting it in the cart and look it up here in a bit. This is also good for five bucks, even without the power cord. Uh, if it's what I think it is, I'll, I'll also double check comp, so I'm pretty sure this is 50 bucks. And here I was worrying this uh, trip was going to be mostly shoe finds based off the first couple stops. We're doing good. All right, so this do-it-yourself cut fuel bill thingamajigger is only going to be $2.50 being half off. So that's going to be a buy. Not crazy money, but it's first class. It should sell for 15 to 20 bucks. We are killing it at this store so far. I haven't even made it to the shoes yet, so let's check them out. Some men's New Balance Fresh Foams. Good model. Should sell for 35 all right, so I looked up the wheel, looked for the pedals. I did not see them anywhere with the pedals. It's worth like 80 to 90, but just the wheel by itself still sells for like $45. So for $7, I think it's worth it. All right, so this is not what I thought it was, nor is it worth much. It's only worth $25 free shipping. But this here, don't worry, I'm going to put it back where I found it. Right, here. These, uh, it's missing parts. That would have been a good deal for five, but... Someone put back this uh, Logitech Harmony 880 remote. These always sell well. I don't know how well this model sells, but they usually at least go for 20 up to a couple hundred. So these uh, Dom white noise machines do really sell well for me, but I don't like to pay more than $3 for them. This one's six. They usually sell for like 25 to 28 free ship. Guys, what an incredible stop. I spent $57.17 on everything here you see. I had a 20% off, uh, coupon because of how many points I had saved up plus when it printed it gave me ten dollars off twenty five dollars or more so I'll use this at the next savers which is awesome but just insane so I didn't realize this but this is new see it still has that uh, piece on the cord this is brand new I looked brand new I just didn't know for sure until then that is insane I should be able to get 150 for that so almost tripling my money on the one item alone I'm gonna have to organize some stuff so nothing breaks but uh i didn't even test out the vcr i should have but it was only five bucks if it doesn't work it doesn't work with that good of a deal i'll take take the loss got the wheel got the boots got oh it's just such a good stop and yeah you guys saw everything i ended up getting the sensi don't know how much it's worth probably 25 to 30. i might put it on whatnot who knows uh yeah just i'm, I'm so happy with that stop Oh, and the massager goes for like 45. Next stop on the sourcing vacation trip is the Goodwill in Murray. So over here in the hard goods, they have a ton of Scentsies. $8 a piece. Hmm, for that price, I'm gonna have to look into them more. They just look like the basic ones. Yeah, I don't see anything crazy. I might look around and then come back in a bit and take a peek at them. Oh, but that's a cool one for sure. Unfortunately, the best one's missing its top. Like this is probably a, a pretty nice one for six, but I don't think, well, this one might be good. I don't think that one's gonna be worth it if I can't find the lid. If I can open this one handed. That might be worth, how much is it? Six bucks, eh, maybe not six bucks. These ones don't sell for that much. We got some bows. It's obviously broken because of missing parts, but how much do they have on it? 
18 dollars yeah these big sub subwoofers sell just they're paying to ship and they don't sell that fast so wouldn't pick it up either way okay so there's this whole bin full of controllers down here unfortunately well they're not they're just uh off brand but they're eight dollars each if they were like three or four dollars a piece i'd buy the whole bin but they only really sell for like 18 dollars so yeah they were cheaper i'd definitely buy this whole bin so i was barely finding anything i looked in the shoes one last time and these are so unassuming looking like they don't look like anything but they are ultras they are ten dollars but this is a really good model i have extra laces i can replace them with they're in good condition these are probably 40 to 50. All right, nothing crazy there. $10 even for the pair of Ultras. They should sell pretty well. That's a really good model. That is gonna wrap up part one of the Utah Thrift and Road Trip. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. The next couple parts, we find even better stuff. So make sure you're subscribed. You're not gonna wanna miss it. I post a video every other day. So not tomorrow, but the next day will be part two. Like, subscribe. We'll see you next time. Atta boy.